to Douglas Fall Convocation, including those on our live feed in Hickman Hall. Welcome family, friends, faculty, staff, and most importantly, the class of 2017. My name is Jennifer Oslinski, and I'm the head chairwoman of the Douglas Orientation Committee, more affectionately known on campus as DOC. As I sat down to write this speech, I began thinking back to some of my first memories at Douglas, and I have to tell you, I've come a long way since I moved into campus fall 2010. This is an exciting time for all of you. And for those of you who are extremely excited to finally be a part of the Rutgers and Douglas community, congratulations. And for those of you who think Rutgers and Douglas may not exactly be where you thought you'd be starting your freshman year, I can tell you I was in the same boat. Initially, I didn't want to come to Rutgers, and haha, <laughs> surprise, my mom signed me up for Douglas. I was nervous to be living at home and being a commuter, didn't know what it was going to be like to drive on campus every day, and I was scared. Three years ago to this day, my mom woke me up at 7.30 in the morning and said, hurry up, get dressed, you have to be at Douglas in an hour. Your keys are hanging by the door, the directions are already on the seat of your car, you need to wear something nice and go and make at least one friend. I'm not kidding. I entered college convinced that Rutgers was not going to be a great fit for me. It was too big, too overwhelming, and too much of a number scheme. And yet, here I am, three years later, as a senior, getting ready to graduate in May, and I'm giving this convocation speech to you. So what happened? Douglas Residential College. This place was a complete game changer for me. Had it not been for the friends and connections that I made my first few weeks on campus, I would not be here right now. I was surrounded by successful women who encouraged me to at least try and succeed while I was here. I allowed myself to find happiness in the moment by trying new things, making friends, exploring the community, and I made myself less miserable. In doing so, I found a home here that I could never imagine leaving, a community where success breeds more success, and I found friendships that will last a lifetime. I can guarantee you that everyone in this room right now has made an amazing decision. You are one of 5, 000, 500 women out of thousands who can say they had direct access to leadership opportunities, awesome traditions, and a dean who lives directly across from the student center on campus. If you came knowing Douglas was the right choice for you, I applaud you because I at 18 had no idea that it would turn out this well. You just took the first step in the direction of an awesome college career. And for those of you still not so sure, Keep my story in mind. If you allow yourself to test the waters, I can promise you'll like it. We are a community unlike any other at Rutgers University, and we say that with pride. As a woman of Douglas, you have the opportunity accessible only to a small few, and I urge you to take advantage of all of them. Go and enjoy our nearly 100-year-old traditions. Become a member of a recruitment organization. Study abroad. Apply to a living learning community. Go to an event and even eat a lot of free cake, a lot. Just have fun, take advantage of something only a small few ever get to be a part of and carry our name with pride. Douglas Residential College is the place where I began to learn who I truly am as a woman, a student, and a leader. It was my gateway into the larger Rutgers community and my safety net. It is also the starting point of my future career path and as so many before me have said, it's the place where I met the women who changed my life. Look around you. You're sitting next to the women who will, future, who will be future congresswomen, well-noted scientists, globe trotters, famous athletes, professional artists, and your lifelong best friends. Nowhere else can you find this close-knit community of women all working towards the empowerment of one another while simultaneously engaging in the diverse community of one of the top research universities in America. Welcome to Rutgers University and more importantly, welcome to your new home at Douglas.
It's now my pleasure to introduce to you the Dean of Douglas Residential College and the Douglas campus, Dean Litt. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to see everybody here. Can you hear me? Is this on? And good afternoon to the uh, families and students in Hickman Hall. Uh, we're sorry we couldn't fit you in, but we're thrilled to have a, a terrifically large class and large presence today in Move-In. Welcome to Rutgers and welcome to Douglas. Congratulations on being accepted to Rutgers, which is an increasingly competitive and uh, difficult school to get into. I want to introduce the uh, Vice President for Enrollment, who's right here, Courtney Mackinoff, who admitted you all. Um, so. Congratulations on choosing to come to this world-class university with virtually every area of study available to you with some of the best faculty in the country. You can choose from 100 majors, 400 student clubs, and um, many new um, facilities at Livingston and College Avenue and soon to be Douglas. Congratulations on joining the residential community here. Douglas is the only women's residential community in a public university in the nation. You have joined a community of close to 2,000 students who get the benefits of a small college environment with world-class research and teaching. Let me tell you who you are this year. We have 527 students enrolling this year, which is a, a record. Uh, last year we had 483, so uh, we're still enrolling new students. So congratulations on being the largest class ever of Douglas Residential College. Twenty-eight percent of you are transfer students. Twelve percent of you are returning students. Fifty-four percent of you, and this really blew me away, intend to major in one of the science, engineering, or math fields. That's a, that is truly astounding. Uh, 50, half of you intend to major in those STEM fields. We have we are. Uh, happy to have two next scholars this year, uh, which adds on to our next scholars from last year. These are uh, undergraduates from Muslim countries who have chosen Douglas through a State Department program uh, to study science. And they get mentored and have partnerships here in the States, both at Douglas and at the New York Academy of Sciences. 82% of you are in-state students. 5% are international, 11% out of state. 14% of you are Latina, 26% of you are African American, 25% of you are Asian or Pacific Island Islanders, and 35% of you are white. We are very, very proud of the diversity of our class and uh, welcome you to a new learning environment where diversity and collaboration and conversation is valued. Let me take a minute to explain the concept of a residential college. You might think of Harry Potter for a moment. These colleges started in England, in Oxford and Cambridge, and were developed originally in the United States in places such as Harvard and Yale. Today, residential colleges are all over the world and all over the U.S and are growing, especially at large public institutions like ours. Though small in number, I believe they are among the best educational tools we have. So what's the idea? Residential colleges, and Douglas is one, is designed as a space where students from all academic disciplines come together into rich and cohesive social communities. These colleges are premised on the notion that interaction, community, and peer education are central to learning. They are designed to offer you ownership over your education, and they are designed to be nimble, which means we respond to your needs and interests. 
There's something special about the Douglas experience at a residential college, and I want to read you from uh, a very well-respected scholar of, of education. And his book is, is entitled, um, How Our Universities Are Failing Our Young. He said, the young may enjoy themselves on campus. They may, in fact, do a great deal of growing up while away at college. They may even earn a lot. But for the, for the most part, many don't truly interact with the academic world. Most rapidly conclude that they are sojourners at the university, not key players, that the university seems to be made for others. As Douglas students, you have a different charge. You will not be sojourners. We can help it. You are our creators. You are our leaders. You are situated in place. So Douglas provides opportunities. Your first year course you'll all be taking this year will give you perspectives on women's lives. The Global Village will provide you living learning opportunities and global travel. The Douglas Project for Women in Science, Math, and Engineering will provide you support and research experiences and role models. Douglas provides relationships. These start with the recruitment office and continue all the way through your lives as alumni. We provide you with perspectives. The world, maybe more than ever, needs you to graduate as women with critical, educated, and affirming knowledge that can ameliorate our global crises that can end violence, that can end our using up of our land and end the exploitation of women and all workers around the world. In our classes, we will expect and hope that you will engage with these perspectives. But as Douglas students, you also have responsibility. We can offer everything, but you have to take advantage of what we offer. You have to demand more than we offer. What you get out of Douglas is really up to you. And I want to, I want to, I want to give a message because it's, um, I hadn't intended to say this, but it's something that I heard earlier today um, about a student who was feeling um, discouraged, that she was being discouraged by a faculty member um, because she was assertive in class and assertive in her ambitions. And I want to tell you, don't ever let anyone lower your ambitions. Every woman on this stage and every woman in this audience has faced barriers to her dreams and her goals. And your job is to help us help you overcome them. Your job is to come to us. Your job is to stand tall in your classes, in your residence halls, in your student government, wherever you are, and not let anyone dash your dreams or your expectations. And on that note, I want to end with um, a passage from um, some prose by uh, the poet Adrian Rich. And I've been teaching this work since my very first day teaching, and I've excerpted a little bit that I hope will inspire you for your education. She actually gave this, uh, this speech as a graduation address at Douglas College in 1977. So it's amazing to me that I've been teaching this for my whole career, and now I'm the dean of Douglas College. So let me read it to you. The last thing I want to say to you who are students is that you cannot afford to think of being here to receive an education. You will do much better to think of being here to claim one. One of the dictionary definitions of the verb to claim is to take as the rightful owner, to assert in the face of possible contradiction. To receive is to come into possession of, to act as receptacle or container for, to accept as authoritative or true. The difference is that between acting and being acted upon, and for women it can literally mean the difference between life and death. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Litt. I would now like to introduce to you the Vice Chancellor of Undergraduate Academic Affairs and the Chief of Staff to the President, Dr. Gregory Jackson.
Welcome to Douglas and to Rutgers University. I just want to say very quickly, um, draw your attention to the building you're in, the Borges Chapel, which is a remarkable, um, a remarkable chapel in the in the Georgian colonial style, and it's uh, it belongs to Douglas. So it's it's up to you guys in the decades to come to protect this impressive, impressive building. You're beginning your undergraduate career during what is quite simply the most exciting period in the history of the university, to my mind. We have just completed a historic and unprecedented integration with the former University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey, which literally transformed Rutgers University from one day to the next. Quite simply, we doubled in size as of July 1st. The new Rutgers has more than 65,000 students and 9,000 faculty members, and it now offers top-rated programs in medicine, dentistry, nursing, pharmacy, and other health-related professions to go along with the existing world-class programs in humanities, the social sciences, the sciences, and engineering. We are also in the process of developing our university strategic plan, which will shape the direction of the university for years to come. Simply put, that plan decides what our priorities are here at Douglas in terms of education, in terms of the structure of what Rutgers will one day look like. And it's your job to help make sure that Douglas is an important part of that future and that women's education is at the forefront. And we are in the midst of the most comprehensive construction period in the school's history, nearly a billion dollars of construction in the next five years on the three Rutgers campuses, which along with the physical master plan we are developing will define the face of the new Rutgers for much of your lifetime. But this is also the most exciting time to join Douglas Residential College. Douglas is celebrating its 95th anniversary this year, and what more fitting way to acknowledge this milestone than with this year's record-breaking enrollment into DRC, which demonstrates that Douglas's mission to provide the finest educational settings to prepare tomorrow's leaders has never been more vibrant than it is today. When Douglas celebrates its 95th anniversary on September 18th, we will feature two outstanding alumni who have made an impact on the world. Um, both of them have led impressive public lives. But as you get to know your fellow Douglas students in the coming weeks and months, you will be meeting tomorrow's leaders. Your fellow students are Phi Beta Kappa and CAP and school members, Gates, Cambridge, and Fulbright scholars, and Arresti Research Assistants. Douglas Residential College provides the foundation for students to go into the Peace Corps, AmeriCorps, and Teach for America, and for others to emerge as major corporate and civic, civic leaders around this country and indeed around the globe. So the message I would like to pass along to you today is simple. Take advantage of all that Douglas has to offer, from the innovative educational programming to the unique residential living options. Learn more about the nationally recognized Douglas project for Rutgers women in math, science, and engineering, and visit our signature Global Village Living Learning Houses. With top programs in global education and advocacy, career development and leadership, along with customized advising and mentoring, Douglas offers students the best of both worlds a world-class university, and a close-knit community focused on women's success. Explore and learn, and challenge yourself to become one of those leaders of tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jackson. Our next speaker is the Executive Director of the Associate Alumnae of Douglas College, Valerie Anderson. Good afternoon and welcome to Douglas College. I am Valerie Anderson, Class of 1981 and the Executive Director of the Associate Alumnae of Douglas College. It is indeed my honor and privilege to stand before you on behalf of the 36,000 alumni that make up the Associate Alumni of Douglas College. Before I go on too further, I must give a shout out 
to the Douglas Orientation Committee, our Douglas greeters, the PALS RA for doing an outstanding job with new student move-in today. Give yourselves a hand. I'd also like to extend a special thanks to Ellen, Keisha, Nicole, and Jennifer from the recruitment office and the entire college staff for making this day a success. Thank you so very much for your labor. To the dynamic class of 2017. Yep, transfer students, international students, commuters, part-time, non-traditional students, our upper-class women, Dean Litt, Vice Chancellor Greg Jackson, the university representatives that are here, college staff, faculty, family, and friends. On behalf, again, I say welcome to you all and thank you for today because today is truly a special and memorial day for everyone. It is with great joy that I welcome you to this sacred place, affectionately known as Douglas College. Each of you have made your journey here, near and far, to attend this innovative institution for women. This is no accident, no, it's not by chance that you are here. This indeed is a testament, a moment of fulfilling a reality for a dream that you have set. As you sit here today in our beautiful Voorhees Chapel, you are fulfilling a calling that has been etched within your heart. You are fulfilling a passion and a dream that has been placed in your mind. You are fulfilling a choice to become world leaders, global citizens, and free thinkers. Welcome to Douglas College, where you are now entering a place where for 95 years, thousands of women who have gone before you to learn, grow, excel, and were excited to serve and lead and create new opportunities. The Associate Alumni of Douglas College, affectionately known as the AADC, is proud to let you know that we are here to support you during your years at Douglas. Alumni will be walking beside you, in front of you, and behind you as you go forth to learn to be the women that you have been called to be. We at the Alumni Associations take pride in our great mission, which is to provide ongoing programming and financial and support to Douglas College, her students, and her alumni. What does this mean for you? It means that the AADC works hard to be able to provide over $600,000 representing 525 scholarship, prize, fellowship, and other uh, gifts that we are able to bestow to our students. We have founded the award-winning extern program that we do in partnership with Douglas College that allows our students the opportunity to work with Douglas alumni in their profession so that they get a chance to try a career on for size. We are proud of all of the uh, initiatives that we have, such as the upcoming Lamadou Lecture, where we will be highlighting uh, Piper Kerman, who is the author of Orange is the New Black. I hope you've heard about that book. It's really exciting. We will be bringing her to campus on October 29th, and we hope that we will see you all there. There are many other initiatives and uh, ideas that we have for our students and that we look forward to working with the college in order to make sure that your experience here is one that will be life-changing for you. We take great pride in keeping our students, our parents, everyone informed. And so we would ask you when you get the opportunity to like us on Facebook, to follow us on Twitter, to go to our website. And our handle is Douglas Alumni, all one word. So it's really easy for all of those. And we encourage you to do so. You are entering a very exciting time. Douglas is thriving under the leadership of Dean Litt, the 10th Dean of, D of Douglas. And we are in the last phase of our capital campaign, Innovative Education of Women's Leadership. It is the most aggressive capital campaign that the Alumni Association has ever undertaken. It is our goal to raise 35 million by the, uh, by the December of 2014. And I am proud to say that we have already raised $32 million to that goal. What does that mean for you? It means that you will have the opportunity to experience just that, innovative opportunities, educational opportunities, leadership opportunities. Under the leadership of Dean Litt, she will continue to provide 
things, special things for Douglas College that will keep Douglas on the cutting edge of women's education. I could go on and on about the outstanding support and partnership of the AADC provides to Douglas and to reaffirm that the Associate Alumni of Douglas College is a strong pillar to the college and how we work hard to make sure that we're able to be here during your years and post-graduation. Post but I want to take this moment to share some words of encouragement with you two as new students. To the class of 2017, welcome to Douglas College, the academic institution. It is here that hope and the promise of academic excellence will be provided to you, and you will most certainly be prepared and equipped for the world at large. It is here that you will be exposed to unique learning opportunities and a very supportive environment. It is here that your minds will be challenged to think outside of the ordinary and to take you, that you will not take anything at face value. The academic programs and structures will equip you to go out into the world and to become change agents, innovators, researchers, and creators. Martin Luther King Jr. said, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. At Douglas, your intellect will be broadened, your character will be strengthened, and you will flourish as a well-rounded global scholar. Welcome to Douglas College, the greatest sisterhood, where you will be engulfed in a dynamic sisterhood unlike no other, where you will not only see the connection between your classmates and fellow students, but you will see yourself undoubtedly feeling the sisterhood during your time here. Not only is the sisterhood bond tight as you move together through a new chapter in your life, but you will also have the guidance and support of the alumni sisterhood who are very much involved in the progression of the student body and the needs of this great institution. Welcome to Douglas College where you will begin an enlightening experience. Here you will chart a new course in your life. You will experience long nights, early mornings. You will be engaged in enriching opportunities such as studying abroad initiative, professional externships, and academic and leadership mentoring. You will create new memories, be involved in social awareness campaigns, participate in student organizations, and be a part of a dynamic legacy. But most importantly, you will evolve further as a woman that will open your eyes to endless possibilities. Future alumni, the baton has been passed to you. Welcome to the sisterhood. Welcome to excellence. Welcome to endless possibilities. But most importantly, welcome to Douglas. There are so many possibilities and great things that lay ahead of you. And to the parents, your young woman is in great hands and she will be a remarkable, remarkable, remarkable woman that you will continue to take great pride in. So on behalf of the Associate Alumni of Douglas College, we say thank you and welcome to Douglas. Each of the deans are going to introduce their area and you can see by the inherent structure of that it is set up for you to be successful with different offices. So I represent the Office of Recruitment and New Student Programs. We help students who are exploring college options to understand how Rutgers is an amazing place to have an undergraduate education as well as beyond, and how Douglas can really enhance that experience for you. So my staff who's here today, raise your hands, wave. I have Nicole Mealy in the back, Dennis, Keisha Dabrowski, um, and out in the ancillary area in Hickman, we have Ksenia Mabalak, and I want to thank you all. This is the group together with the docs and the Douglas Orientation Committee and the peer academic leaders and the resident call assistants who put the program together for today and for the entire weekend. So thank you to all of you, and thank you to the parents, friends, and students who are in the audience because you are making Douglas a
summer orientation. Okay, so you'll understand this. I was told today that I'm not allowed to make you laugh. <laughs> so what I want to say is serious. As an advisor and as the director of advising here, our goal is not just to make you successful students. Our goal is to help you understand what it means, uh, to borrow from King Litt's quotation, what it means to claim an education. And that is our job, to let you understand what that means and to help you see yourselves as people who can change the world. And that is our job. And your job is to come and talk to us so we don't get lonely. <laughs> and so that we can help you find the best resources at this amazing university. Thank you.
and to become old citizens. Um, and I hope that uh, you will get to know my authors as even in the first couple of years. And by the time that you're juniors and seniors, you will realize all the programs that we have to offer and we'll take full advantage of them because they're really very special things that Douglas has to offer to you. Uh, I wish you great success in your career as students here. I'm sure you will have a wonderful time and have an amazing opportunity for incredible education here at Rutgers and with uh, you know, all the enhancements that Douglas has to offer. You have know, really made a good choice in choosing to come to Douglas. So welcome and I hope you have a fantastic evening. Thank you all for being here today. Please remain seated until those on stage have processed out. 